In this tutorial, we will learn how to pass the variables to the tweak templates from the custom block in a Drupal. Uh, in a one-off video tutorial, I already created this custom block and from that custom block, I show one message. And if you don't know how to create the custom block programmatically, you can watch this video. I will add this video link in the description or you can watch this video by clicking on the this suggestion link. Code for this block was written here in the hello world block and in that block, I have written this markup and have shown one message. Now I will explain you why it is needed to create the custom tweak template for this to display the data from the block. Sometimes we got the requirement like we need to add some extra class or wrapper to this by default data which is coming from the block. Like you can see here the default class added is a flash content. Now I want to show this data like after this content I want to add one more div with the class message and after that I want to show this message in a p tag or you want to show the another data inside the same div. For that purpose we require to create the custom tweak file so that we can arrange the data as per the, our requirements and we can add any class or we can arrange the structure of the statement as per the, our requirements. So now, first I will explain a little bit about this block. I had created this custom block. I had added this uh, namespace, included these two classes, block and API controller. After that, I added this annotation. This will be the block ID and uh, this message will be get display in the admin panel and after that I have created this class with the hello world block and inside the build method I have fetched some data from the external API and I have written that data and that data is displayed like this now I will show you how to create that pick template and how to pass our variable data to that pick template so first I will delete this and uh, I will create create one attribute for the theme first will be the hash theme so my theme name will be the hello underscore world underscore block next is the variable so i want to pass the one head heading for that i have created this heading variable and this heading will be the type of markup hash markup cat facts because this api returns some data regarding the cat facts so i have mentioned the heading as the cat facts save this now go to the your dot model file inside the custom model so i don't have that model file now i will create the model file hello underscore world dot model and inside this model file i will write the hook theme to pass the variables to the tweak templates for that first i will write the comment implements hook underscore theme Now write the function for the hook thing. Function hello world is your model name and the function name is a thing and we need to pass the four parameters. Uh, first is the existing, second is the dollar type, third is the theme, and fourth is the path. Inside this function, we will return our variables. So first, I will write the tweak template name. Hello underscore 
to word underscore block so this is the same which we have already mentioned here so this should be the same now i will write the variables and to this where array we need to pass the, our variables so we are passing the heading variable so i have mentioned the variable as a heading which is we have passed from this heading and the uh, value will be the null save this file now create the template file for this the file name should be hello and replace this underscore with the hyphen first i will create the template folder inside the my custom model templates and inside this folder we need to create the new file and we need to now replace this underscore with the hyphen html dot fake inside this file i will write my structure so now i want to show the message in the one div and with the class equal to message and again i want to show that message in a h1 tag close the div save this so we have passed this variable heading to show the heading inside uh, the tweak template we need to show that display that variable inside the two open and close curly braces and and insert the our variable now save it and again clear your cache rush cr the cache is cleared successfully now go to our page and refresh so the title we should get the title here i will refresh this there you can see we are getting this title from the quick template so this is the single variable suppose now i want to show the multiple data into the quick template so how can i pass that data which is in the format of array so i will show you that also how to pass the array data to the tweak templates so first we will create the one array in the api controller i have called one external api which returns some facts about the cat so i will create the array from that data and fetch the data from the api now we will create the array for that data first i will declare one array fetch data array now i want to add some five records in that array for that i will i will look that api five times i uh, equal to zero dollar i is less than five dollar i plus plus so in this object i already got the data from the api now i'll store that data inside the array page data array dollar i equal to get fact now i will get the data from this array so format for data is dollar pack data and the fact I uh, will show you how that array looks like by printing here. Echo C and underscore exit. This is how the array looks like now i will pass this array to the quick templates i will add one more attribute so that will be the fact i will give the name it as a fact 
and pass this array to the track inside the module file we need to add that array fact as a array save it and now go to the tweak template which we have created now i will check if the data is present in the fact array then only execute the rest part so for that i have written the if there is a data in a fact then we will look through that data and display that data in the block so we will look through that data using the for loop for key comma value in fact we are looking through this array that's why we have mentioned here the fact array and for now inside the paragraph i want to show that message value dot cat fact was the p tag in the in the fact array there is one key cat fact you can see here so we are sh showing the value from this key to display the this message inside the block again if i want to show the numbers as well like one two three i can show that using the loop dot index so this is the tweak function this is the tweak function it will return the iteration numbers from the array save it and again clear the cache the cache is clear successfully now go to the web page refresh this so here you can see we are getting this data from the api this is the one fact this is the second fact third fact fourth fact and fifth fact and we have shown this number from this loop index and again i will explain you one more time what we have did so in the this custom in this custom block i have created inside the build function first i have created one heading attribute and pass the markup data with this cat fact and after that i have created one array and inside the array i have added these five elements and this data is again passed to this model inside the hook theme function and inside the variable i have passed these variables first heading as a null and the fact as an array after that i have created the template file by replacing this underscore with the hyphen and inside that file i have shown this data and which is looks like this again if i refresh the data will be the different on the each refresh again i will refresh it that's it from this video i hope this video is useful for you please subscribe the channel so that you will get notified whenever i create the new content on a drupal Thank you for watching.